Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton has accused China of lying and refusing to hand over all the information they have about the origins of the coronavirus outbreak as he suggested it could be linked to a laboratory. Cotton raised the possibility that the coronavirus outbreak could have been created in a biological warfare laboratory in Wuhan, the epicenter of the deadly disease, despite repeated pushback from officials. In an interview with Fox News Sunday Morning Futures, Cotton said the laboratory was near the Wuhan food market where scientists had initially believed the outbreak first originated. This virus did not originate in the Wuhan market, Cotton said. We don't know where it originated and we have to get to the bottom of that. He acknowledged there was no evidence of links between the lab and the outbreak but Cotton went on to reference the close proximity of the market. We also know that just a few miles away from that food market is China's only bio-safety level 4 super laboratory that researches human infectious diseases, he said. Now, we don't have evidence that this disease originated there, but because of China's duplicity and dishonesty from the beginning, we need to at least ask the question to see what the evidence says. And China right now is not giving any evidence on that question at all. He went on to accuse China of lying about the outbreak. The situation is very grave in part because China was lying from the beginning, and they're still lying today, he said. Chinese ambassador to the US Kui Tiankai has previously criticized Cotton for drawing connections between the biological warfare lab and the outbreak. I think it's true that a lot is still unknown and our scientists, Chinese scientists, American scientists, scientists of other countries, are doing their best to learn more about the virus, but it's very harmful, it's very dangerous, to stir up suspicion, rumors and spread them among the people, he told CBS, Face the Nation earlier this month. For one thing, this will create panic. There are all kinds of speculation and rumors. How can we believe all these crazy things? Cotton took to Twitter on Sunday to address claims he was peddling conspiracy theories by linking the lab and outbreak. He listed several hypotheses about the coronavirus outbreak, including natural, deliberate and scientific causes. It comes after Chinese scientists released a report that said the deadly virus may have started life in a different research facility just 300 yards from the Wuhan fish market. The paper from the Beijing-sponsored South China University of Technology says that the Wuhan Center for Disease Control WHCDC, could have spawned the contagion in Hubei province. The possible origins of 2019 NCOV coronavirus, penned by scholars Botao Sio and Lei Sio claims the WHCDC kept disease-ridden animals in laboratories, including 605 bats. It also mentions that bats, which are linked to coronavirus, once attacked a researcher and blood of bat was on his skin. The report says, genome sequences from patients were 96% or 89% identical to the bat cov zc 45 coronavirus originally found in Rhinolophus affinus intermediate horseshoe bat. It describes how the only native bats are found around 600 miles away from the Wuhan seafood market and that the probability of bats flying from Yunnan and Zhejiang provinces was minimal. In addition there is little to suggest the local populace eat the bats as evidenced by testimonies of 31 residents and 28 visitors. Instead the authors point to research being carried out within a few hundred yards at the WHCDC. One of the researchers at the WHCDC described quarantining himself for two weeks after a bat's blood got on his skin, according to the report. That same man also quarantined himself after a bat urinated on him. And he also mentions discovering a live tick from a bat, parasites known for their ability to pass infections through a host animal's blood. The WHCDC was also adjacent to the Union Hospital where the first group of doctors were infected during this epidemic. The report says, It is plausible that the virus leaked around and some of them contaminated the initial patients in this epidemic, though solid proofs are needed in future study.